So, Jeff and John, you're playing to win the Blackpool Rockers £17,000. Kevin, CJ, Daphne and Chris, you're playing for something that money can't buy, the Eggheads reputation. As usual, I will ask each team three questions in turn. This time the questions are all general knowledge and you are allowed to confer. So, Blackpool Rockers, the question is, are your two brains better than the Eggheads four? And do you want to go first or second? First. First, yeah. first please. Here we go. Best of luck, Jeff and John. What term is used to refer to the support allowance that an individual pays to his or her former spouse as part of a divorce settlement? Is it dowry, alimony, or probate? Right. Uh, so it's alimony. I've got it then. Yeah. Alimony. Say alimony. Your answer is alimony. Mm -hmm. Quite right. Yes. Well Come done. Yeah. Got the first yeah. one right. Okay, Eggheads. Which UK Eurovision Song Contest winning group was fronted by an American? Is it Bucks Fizz, Brotherhood of Man, or Katrina and the Waves? Katrina and the Waves? Yeah. <laughs> that was 97, I think it was. Katrina and the Waves. Do you know the song? Sunshine something? Sunshine in My Heart or something? Love, I, can't the I title. think Walking on Sunshine was the famous oh, yeah. pop hit, but that wasn't it. Love Shine a Light. Oh, yeah. Love Shine a Light. Okay, so they've got theirs right, but don't panic yet. Here's your question What is the literal translation of Dies Irae, the name of part of the Roman Catholic Requiem Mass? Does it mean he is dead, perpetual light, or day of wrath? And I'll spell it for you, okay? Diaz is D-I-E-S, and then Ire is I-R-A-E. Diaz, Ire. Day of Wrath. Day of Wrath. Day is Day. Day of Wrath. You've got to go for Day of Wrath, huh? I would guess. No. Yeah? Yeah. We'll go for Day of Wrath. Day of Wrath is the right answer. Yes! yes. Come on! <laughs> two out of two. <laughs> 17,000 pounds to play for. Let's see what happens with these eggheads. The Australian Kelpie is a breed of which domestic creature? Dog, cat, or rabbit? It's like a sheep dog. dog. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a sheep dog. dog. It's a dog. Dog is the right answer. They are not mucking around, the eggheads. But get this one right and they can panic. I've seen it happen. In 2010, Thierry Henry left Barcelona to join which major league soccer team? Is it Chicago Fire? New York Red Bulls or Houston Dynamo? I think I know this one. Who was it? Who was it? Thank him. Thierry Henry left uh, Barcelona. I think I know it. Go on. I think, I don't think it's Chicago Fire. Mm. I might be wrong, I don't think it's Houston Dynamo. I'm straight, not sure straight away, <coughs> I thought it was New York Red Bulls. Straight think? away. Okay. Say that, yeah. We're off for New York Red Bulls, please. Well, now this one, the last one, it was you that was certain, Jeff. This one well, was I wasn't certain about this one. Well, no. Diaz Ire, but the last one you were. And then, John, this time you're certain you're playing very well. New York Red Bulls is correct. Yes! Well done. Sure. You've got three out of three. Come on. So you've, you've left it again. perched. <laughs> you've left it perched in a very interesting place here because this third question, if they get it wrong, you've won £17,000. You don't need to do another stroke of work. Right. Today, at least. That sounds all right to me. So here is your question, eggheads. Norin Rad yes. is the alter ego. <laughs> you don't know what I'm going to ask yet. Sorry. Norin Rad is the alter ego of which comic book superhero? Is it Doctor Strange, Silver Surfer, or Daredevil? Silver Surfer. <laughs> how do you know it's the Silver Surfer? CJ, how do you know it with such conviction? Because uh, I've wasted my life with comic books. And so you read them a lot, do you? I, I like them. I'm now, I watch the films as well. So this is not actually learning lists. This is you reading something this for enjoyment. This is actually for enjoyment, yeah. This is you as a real person, CJ. I wouldn't go that far. The correct answer is Silver Surfer. So they've got three out of three. You're foiled slightly, but you're not out, not by any means. £17,000 we're playing for, we go to sudden death, okay? So it's not multiple choice now. I need the answer from you. In the lyrics of a famous song by Eric Mashwitz and Manning Sherwin that became popular during World War II, in which London Square did a nightingale sing? No? Yeah. Yeah. Square. Barclay Square is the right answer. Oh, yes. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. 
eggheads. You get this wrong, they've won £17,000 and your winning streak is over. In 2009, Sir John Soares was appointed head of which intelligence organisation? Um, he was the one whose wife put the pictures on the yes, internet. Yes, I think that's... Uh, Could you just spell Soares, please? S-A-W-E-R-S. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember which one it is. No, MI5 or MI6. MI5's internal, MI6 is abroad, isn't it? Well, MI5 um, isn't it most well known, so if it's not, um, can we think of an alternative name who is head of MI5? Not at the moment, no. no. I'm, I'm, if I have an inkling, it's towards six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, that, yeah. that may be. Well, I don't know. I, I'm inclined to go for. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I go for five. You go for? Yeah, I go for five. Yeah, it's higher profile than six. Don't don't do it on the basis of what I I think. I, I don't have. You want to go for five? I go for five. Yeah, it's higher profile than six. Yeah. We don't know. Mi five. We'll try. Okay, your answer is Mi five. If you have got it wrong, you've won. You don't have to do any more. Do you know the answer, by the way? Mi six. You think he's Mi six? Oh yes. Well, that was a brilliantly shared session there, CJ, where you gave more weight to the opinions of people who didn't know the answer. Uh, you should have listened to Kevin's inkling, but he's too modest to push it. It's MI6. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. challengers. You have won. Yeah. Yes. I'm so pleased for you. On. Congratulations. Hey, Fantastic. Jeremy, Jeremy, my flat burned down a couple of months ago and I've been homeless for a while, so that's going to help me the money oh, to get. I've just moved into a new house and so. I'm really chuffed for you. Really? I'm really? Chuffed really? you. And that was, you just, and the fact that you knew the, the last answer as well is particularly <laughs> heartening. And I, I mean, I would have been with you guys. It's MI5, MI6, and which yeah. do you, you know, which is, it's very difficult. Congratulations, challengers. You've ended their winning streak. You've won £17,000 on eggheads, and you are officially cleverer than the eggheads yeah. here. Come you on. proved that they certainly can be beaten. So join us next time on eggheads to see if a new team of challengers will be just as successful. Until then, after a brilliant game, goodbye.